Here's another one. I have this wood box here. Old vintage wood box. Love the coloring. So I'm going to put my design on here. Wait to see this design. Ta-da! Look at that bright red and green truck. Now I really want to put it on this because I think standing it up like this, <clears throat> putting a tree in it, this would be just the cutest little base. But I don't want to paint this. I want the natural wood look with the truck on top. So again, clear coat. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that going here. Now, because it doesn't fit around, it doesn't fit on the top, I'm going to kind of bend it. Now you'll notice that I'm giving the whole, oops, the whole area a coat of the clear coat. I've noticed that sometimes when I'm using the clear coat on the wood, if I don't cover the whole area with the clear coat, you can kind of see where I had um, put the clear coat and not put the clear coat. So I want to just make sure that I want it to look as even as possible. I will go back and do the other two sides, not on camera, but just afterwards so it all blends. But I just wanted to show you this. Okay, so I got one thin coat over everything. I just want to make sure I have complete coverage. Now I'm going to go back and make it thicker for where I'm going to put my truck. Trying to keep it as even as possible. Okay, oops. I really don't need to worry too much because it's not going to be going over there. Put it down here. Now there is a part here that is a little bit jagged. So the paint and lay might not stick really well to that, and I'm, and I'm okay with that. I am going to just kind of put it on like this, though. Can you see that? Okay. Just because of that jagged edge. All right. Let's get it up. Oops, let's get it on. Put that back in the center. Okay. I'm going to put it right about here. Give it a good rub into the clear coat and then I'm going to bend and push it down. All right, brayer, firm but not too hard because I don't want it to rip. This side. And I know you already know what comes next. <laughs> yep, Mr. Bottle. Okay. And let's go ahead and give it a firm push. This is a solid picture, so I'm going to take my time and make sure I push in the entire truck, tree, window, everything. And then I go to this side. Making sure to pay particular attention to the edge where it's a little jagged. We'll just push it in there and see what happens. Okay, so this will look so cute with a little Christmas tree standing out of it. Okay, it's time for the truck. You can see that some of the color from the box has bled into the paper should not affect the design at all. So let's go ahead and mist and get it wet. And remember I put the North Star in the back and this has actually bled into this one too, but we're just gonna go ahead and release it. Okay, I wanna make sure that it soaks for a minute. Let's start over here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's releasing very easily. Look at those bright, brilliant colors. All right, so the part we were concerned about was the edge here. Let's flip it over and see. Yeah, I didn't get quite the edge I wanted on here, but I still have part of the tire, so that works. 
look at that. So the bleeding of the box onto the paper did not hurt the design at all. You can see the bleeding of the paper. It is flat to dry because I will use it again. Because look at that truck. Imagine this box with a Christmas tree inside of it. How cute is that going to be? And let's go ahead and release this North Star. Should be okay. Look at that. Beautiful. It's not as vibrant or bright as the red, but it's still pretty. We're on the back, so we're going to go ahead and uh, give these a light spray so we can put the final sealant on. Oops. Once this dries with the spray, we'll go ahead and we can brush it with the clear coat. Let's protect this truck. Been sprayed with the spray varnish. Now I'm going to put the clear coat on it. And because this is bare wood, I'm going to go ahead and clear coat the whole entire part of the box so it looks even. And we cannot forget about the back side of the truck that bends around the box. I can't wait to get this box staged. I'm going to put that Christmas tree in here. It'd be really cute a little base for Christmas tree. And then, of course, we have on the back that little North Star. So we're going to do this too. And then I'll allow, I'll let it dry upside down. Like this. On the, so we don't get any of the clip coats on the table. So we're going to go ahead and let this dry. Look at how cute that is. I just love this design. 